Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another Japanese video. So basically today I'm going to show you guys like an updated version of how I go about studying my Japanese every week. And uh, yeah, this is an updated routine. I've only changed about like one thing, but anyways. So first, how I start off is that I like to practice my hiragana first so that I can kind of like get in the mood for it and it really just sets the tone for my whole study session. So last time I ended up making these little flashcards with you guys and I use them every week and honestly super helpful. They work really really well and honestly really really love them. Super easy to do too so if you guys need flashcards just cut up some cue cards and it works great. So basically how I start off is that I put them at random and then I take it, I write down the symbol and then I write down what I think it is and then I correct it as I go. And then I make sure to keep in mind which ones that I keep messing up so that I can study those extra at the end so that I don't forget them for next time. So I just go through this every single time, super easy, just once over. Sometimes I do it twice if I feel like it, but uh, yeah, so this is how I start off studying my Japanese. I do it twice a week for about two hours and it's been going honestly really really great. Some weeks I'm not able to do it because school ends up being pretty busy and YouTube and all that stuff, but I try to do it as often as I can. Whenever you're learning a language, honestly, consistency is key, so if you are learning a language, you can do it, I believe in you. Try to do it every every single week if you can. Next step is to look over my old lessons that I've done, so old grammar, overall vocabulary, all those things. Um, I like to do that again to set the tone of uh, kind of like refresh my brain to remember like what I have learned so far and so that if ever a lesson that I do refers to it then I can remember. So yeah, just quickly flip through and then I open up Japanese Pod 101 a wonderful amazing website they have an amazing youtube channel as well i found them by just finding one of their uh, 25 minute grammar videos on youtube and honestly guys like if you haven't heard of them before please 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 go they have amazing amazing resources uh, the lessons for absolute beginners are between five to ten minutes every single time they're straight to the point very easy to follow they have the whole lesson plan underneath uh, they also have the whole transcript of what the teachers are saying, so you have everything word for word. Uh, they also identify every vocabulary word that could be interesting to you, and the grammar structure and everything, and just there's so many examples, and overall everything is just very, very well explained and honestly really, really great, and I have fallen in love with their stuff. <laughs> so I do this every single time. I try to do between three to four. A little grammar lesson so that it's a total of about I'd say 15 to 20 minutes and then I make sure to go through everything again to understand properly and I write down my little notes I write down in both hiragana and also Roman regular letters. In my last video I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I used to do a lot of Duolingo. While Duolingo is very very great as well I just tried to find another resource like Pod 101 in order to really try to grasp grammar. Like Duolingo gave you a few lessons about it, but they never explained it, so I never truly understood how the grammar worked. So that's why I really fell in love with Japanese Pod 101 because they explained every single little bit really, really well and I love it. So yeah, this is what uh, kind of like a lesson plan kind of looks like. There is the dialogue that they use as examples and then the vocabulary words. And then you can see at the bottom there that you can download everything as a PDF or a bunch of other options, which is also amazing. They also give you a quiz, which is great. They have all the lesson uh, notes and grammar and whatever. And then there's also the lesson transcript at the bottom. Again, like I said earlier, what every single thing that the teachers are saying, which is amazing. And you can download everything as a PDF to keep them on your computer if you need to. And overall, really amazing. And the resources are really good. And honestly, I'm so impressed about how much they give you. And the quality of the lessons and how everything is explained is just amazing. <laughs> so definitely check out Japanese Pod 101 if you have not before, because they have amazing stuff. Next, uh, I decided to start studying kanji because a person in my last Japanese video commented, 
do not put off kanji and I think that is absolutely true because kanji is definitely not easy and uh, I decided to start ahead with these little flashcards that I have. So this was actually gifted to me by one of uh, my friends from a long time ago because their mother actually went to Japan and studied Japanese for a really long time so she gave me all her Japanese material which I'm so so grateful for. Uh, so I kind of like leafed through the little pamphlet that they have and also the little lines there that like are brown or whatever, those are actually old elastics that decayed and got stuck on the card unfortunately. So don't worry, it's nothing dirty. I figured that out only at the end. <laughs> but anyway, this is what the little kanji stick card looks like and on the back it kind of has like all the definitions and whatever of the way that it could be used which is really, really handy. And it's honestly great. On the side where there is the actual character, you can also see at the bottom that it says what grade level this kanji character would usually be learned at. And the first ones that I'm doing are all obviously grade one. So I'm gonna try to memorize all the grade one uh, kanji characters by the end of this year. We'll see if that works. <laughs> So as you can see, there's the grade one at the bottom and then there are how to do the brush strokes as well. And honestly, these cards are really, really amazing. And I think that it will go pretty smoothly. I don't know, this was my first time using them. I will also link down in the description below uh, a bunch, a bunch, and a bunch of resources that I have found and really, really, really appreciated. There are these flashcards for kanji characters specifically that I found, and I think it works really, really, really well. So I will link that down below. Make sure you guys go and check it out if you need a flashcard website. I think it works great. I will also link uh, Japanese Pod 101 down in the description below as well. And also a third link to like a thing that has like multiple different resources for specific things. So I hope that will help you guys as well if you are looking for something specific. Um, I'm going to go through them one by one through time to see what I need as I get better and better. And honestly, ja learning Japanese has been such a fun experience and it's just so refreshing to be honest. And I hope that the resources that I link and stuff that I've mentioned helps you and your Japanese journey if you are learning Japanese. If you have any tips and tricks or overall guidance, please uh, leave a comment down below in order to help me and others. It would be super appreciated and uh, whenever I make another Japanese video I will make sure to give you credit or whatever if I do mention the tip as well. So yeah. So I just quickly went through uh, all the little cards that I had that I took out and kind of to get like the general feel of the cards and how to apply them to my study routine. And I wasn't too sure how to use them when I first took them out, so I will make sure to uh, use them more properly next time. But honestly, these are really great and I can't wait to start learning kanji. If you guys have any kanji learning tips, make sure to leave a comment down below. It would be super appreciated. And yeah. <laughs> So again, a bunch of resources are linked down in the description down below. I hope they help you guys because they've certainly helped me. And again, leave a comment if you have anything else you'd like to share with others and let's all help each other guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little updated Japanese studying routine. Uh, I will make sure to make more Japanese videos in the future to kind of show you guys like how far I've gotten and my progress and maybe do some mini lessons of stuff that I have learned that I fully understand so that I don't misguide you obviously. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to find these kanji cards, uh, there is the ISBN in the back that you can type in and probably find on Amazon or any other type of website, probably online. And uh, I hope you can find them. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. And I hope to see you guys all next week. Bye guys.